Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mattia Maggioli and today I'm joined by Michael Nevin who developed this POC integration between uh, Forcepoint uh, DLP and Azure Active Directory Secure Hybrid. This integration POC provides customers of Forcepoint DLP with integrated authentication of Azure Active Directory users and group into the Forcepoint DLP, specifically the Forcepoint Security Manager component of DLP, and also provide through the remote a proxy of Azure with remote access to the Forcepoint Security Manager running on-premise, exposing that application as an Azure app, and this delivers remote management capabilities to the Forcepoint DLP. Now, Nev, would you take us through the implementation that you developed for this BSC? Sure. So, first I'm going to log into DLP. I'm going to use my local credentials. We're going to configure the Forcepoint Security Manager to use our Active Directory. So Nev, in the documentation for this POC, you have also provided the steps to create and deploy all the components of the Azure Active Directory with the LDAP Secure, right? Yeah. But in this case, we have already an Azure Active Directory set up for the previous integration POC, for the previous episode of the podcast. So we won't keep you here for 30 to 40 minutes for these activities. We will just start with an Azure Active Directory and we use the native connector within the FSM that provides connectivity to an LDAP server as a source of identity. So reusing the connection that we've already created, we can see the test is successful. We have a connection to our Active Directory. That's okay. Going back to the general tab and over to administrators, we're going to add an administrator group from the Azure Active Directory. As you can see here, I've already added a group admin, but I'm going to add another one. So admin is the local administrator, which is native to the FSM, right? That's right. The DLP administrator is a group that I have actually set up in the Azure Active Directory that I have imported from, from our work already. So I'm going to add another one just, just to show that. Uh, go to add network account. This will be using the credentials that we just set up a minute ago. I can search for DLP and find the group that I created, or I could create or I could look for operator, which is another one I know that my credentials are on. Once we found our group that we want, we make sure to use the arrow here that adds it to this, and we're okay here. So any any users within those groups will now be added to the role, which in this case is global security administrator. You would change that role for your users depending on what their access should actually be. Oh, beautiful. So you can also map roles within the FSM using the Azure Active Directory groups. That's right. We can see some of the settings here. For the rest of this guide, we need to make sure that the IP address for Forceport Security Manager is behind an FQDN. If you do not have that, you need to. it needs to be in the format similar to you're seeing here. Just make sure that it's not 192. something because it won't work with the application proxy. Over in Azure now, we're going to go to the Azure Active Directory. Uh, you can search for that up here. In my case, I have it here in my quick access, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to scroll down to an option here called Application Proxy. So using the download icon here, go for the Download Connector Service. That will set up a little program to install the application proxy connector, which will then connect to Azure. Once it's installed, and your machine that has been installed with the connector should show up here under default. And we're going to configure our app so that we can get remote access to the FSM. I have just one question. Does the user need extra resources to host the connector in a separate machine, like a physical or a virtual machine? Or is it a lightweight connector that can be hosted inside the same machine of the FSM? It should be just a lightweight connector that's installed in the same machine where FSM is installed. Okay. From the same page where you see the IP address where you installed the connector service, if you click the icon configure an app, it will open a window where you can fill in the rest of the details needed for the application proxy. Here we enter the, our FQDN that we, have, that we established we were using because we again cannot use an IP address here. And this will be what you've already set up in your Azure. Pre-authentication set to pass through. These are the settings we want to use. So basically turn off a lot of these and leave the application timer with default. Go back up. We can save, test the application, and that will open the application in a new tab. Once that's all set up, we should now be able to access our application FSM through the application proxy. You can see we have a new address for it. And because we've already set up the Azure Active Directory credentials, we should now be able to use those to log into FSM. Enter the credentials in the format, excluding the domain for the username, your normal password as usual. From here, we have access to FSM, and we can access, the, access this link anywhere and use the Azure credentials that have been set up 
So now, since we made the FSM as an Azure app, is it possible to have it available in the dashboard, uh, the My Apps dashboard of Azure, as the other apps that a user might have configured? Yep, let's do that. Let's go to My Applications. And I'm just going to try and sign in. Yep, so from here we can see the Forcepoint DLP app has been added. And if you open that, that'll take us to our login page for FSM. Fantastic. Now, Nev, a customer that is extremely security focused would probably question the opportunity of exposing the FSM, which is an internal application, as an Azure app. But the app is not really available to the public, right? No, it's only available to the, the user groups that we added through the Azure Active Directory. Only those users within those groups can be authenticated against FSM. So we can actually combine this POC with one of the previous POCs where we can change the authentication policies of Azure based on the risk score provided by Forcepoint CASB or the risk level provided by Forcepoint Behavior Analytics, right? Yes. So we ultimately can make not only the application available outside through the Azure Active Directory integration, but we can also make the integration of the Azure Active Directory more secure along with the risk score provided by Frostpoint products. So ultimately, we got an extra feature and an extra layer of security thanks to the integration with Azure Active Directory. Now, just a quick recap of this POC. This integration POC provides customers of Forcepoint DLP with integrated authentication of Azure Active Directory users and group into the Forcepoint DLP, specifically the Forcepoint Security Manager component of DLP. And Azure Active Directory users can be utilized to authenticate into the Forcepoint Security Manager, but also to expose the Forcepoint Security Manager application as an Azure application with remote access to the Forcepoint Security Manager running on-premise so that user authentications into Forcepoint Security Manager can be carried out with an extra layer of security which comes from the authentication policies assigned into Azure Active Directory to users and groups. So thanks again, Neve, for another great POC. Thanks. Thank you for watching this episode of the podcast and stay tuned for more episodes.